Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today we're going to be doing some cheesy bacon sweet pepper poppers. Uh, this is a really quick and easy, you know, fun little party or football uh, snack that you can grill up on any grill as long as you have direct heat. Uh, they only take, you know, 15, 20 minutes to prep and about 15 minutes to cook. These are amazing. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let me quickly walk you through the ingredients here. We've just got uh, you know five or six ingredients here, which is what makes this recipe quick and easy and uh, super straightforward. We've got some multicolored sweet peppers over here. Now for the filling for the peppers, we've got some cream cheese and then some bacon that I fried up and chopped up. And with these two ingredients, I'm gonna add some of the Flavor God Chipotle seasoning. And then for the topping, we've got some panko crumbs and some shredded cheese. You can use whatever mixture you want, but these two ingredients together is what's gonna give you kind of that cheesy golden brown topping. All right, and again, for our filling, we're just using, this is about three quarters to a cup of just plain cream cheese. You can use some flavored cream cheeses if you want, but I think the regular is gonna be best. Then we've got about three quarters of a cup of our chopped up bacon that we fried up. Then again, this is the Flavor God Chipotle seasoning. And we're gonna add about a tablespoon of that. And then we're just gonna start mixing this up. All right, and with the cream cheese fillings like this, you can definitely set the cream cheese out to kind of soften up at room temp. But kind of the trick that I do is you just kind of push it all to one side of your of your bowl and just keep pushing down with it like this. And that's gonna nicely blend all those ingredients together. So that's all you're looking for. It took about 30 seconds and our filling is good to go. Okay, again, for our topping, it's just two ingredients, about three fourths of a cup to one cup of shredded cheese, and then some panko crumbs. And you're just gonna kind of mix this up just a bit. Okay, and then lastly, all you're gonna do you can use a spoon, you can use your fingers, it doesn't really matter. You're just gonna put a little bit of the filling in here inside of each pepper. You don't need to go too crazy with it. And then you're just gonna take some of your panko and cheese topping and just kinda sprinkle, all that, uh, sprinkle it in just like that. And that's literally all you have to do. So we'll go ahead and prep the rest of these out. All right, we're just about done here. I thought I'd show you this uh, last one you can kind of see how i do this again so i just cover it pretty good and then just use a spoon and push it down in that cream cheese so you've just got a really nice little cheesy panko topping there all right so we're out here at the kamado joe i'm on my uh, big joe and um, i've got it preheated to about 400 degrees we're gonna go ahead and burp the big joe and all we're gonna do this is a direct heat environment and we're just gonna put these directly on the grilling grate right there, just like that. And these aren't gonna take that long to cook at all. So we're gonna get the lid shut on these once we get these all on here and check on these in about five minutes or so. I'm thinking these are gonna probably just take about 10 minutes and we'll be back in just a second. If you're cooking these on a Kamado, one of the things that I just kinda wanted to show you is that if the if the heat in your Kamado is too hot in the center, um, like it ended up being here on the Big Joe, then all you gotta do is spread them out to the outside edge and these are just gonna cook perfectly. I had one that was dead in the middle that was almost getting a little burned on the bottom, so I just kinda adjusted these to the outside. So that's all you gotta do. All right guys, total cook time was, actually ended up being about 15 minutes. You can see how nice and golden brown the top is here so these are ready to be pulled off the grill and we're just going to let these set because that cheese especially that uh, cream cheese filling is going to be piping hot so we're going to let those uh, just rest for a few minutes and then we'll try one out all right so we let them rest just for a couple minutes see how the topping got nice and golden brown a little bit of char on the bottom there show you a couple of the bottoms that's what you're looking for and just a nice little char Man, these look amazing. You definitely want to serve these immediately so the cheese doesn't get cold. 
All right, so let's go ahead and try these out. Again, the idea here is this just is a quick and easy finger food. Uh, this should be just, you know, one or two bites for most people. Mmm. Wow, that is amazing. It's something about that crunchy bacon and the and the pepper filling with that cream cheese it just goes so well together with that panko cheesy topping you can definitely do these with some hotter peppers if you want but these sweet peppers are probably going to be good you know if you got a lot of kids and stuff like that so definitely check out this recipe um, i'm about to eat another one i appreciate you guys watching and uh, we will see you again soon mm.